schistosomiasis is the disease, and it's um, a disease that infects people in sub-Saharan Africa. It's widely regarded as the second most important parasitic disease in the world after malaria. It's transmitted to people by a free-swimming stage that's secreted by infected snails. They call it a neglected tropical disease, and so it's in the past has been estimated that about 10% of the people who are afflicted with it really receive um, adequate treatment. Right now, I guess what we're trying to do is um, impacting communities in a couple of different places. First is that we have some um, sort of global collaborations in Kenya and in Ghana where we actually do um, sort of on the ground community um, engagement with different groups of people, mostly um, school aged children who are sort of the, the most afflicted demographic. So we have a couple of different ways that we do that. One is that we actually, we're actually sampling um, for the, the actual infection in the kids and that's part of our sort of our research uh, initiative. Our goal there is really to develop a, a urine based diagnostic test that's really easy to implement, would really sort of facilitate um, treating people outside of the normal treatment demographic, which is, like I said, the, the school kids. And then that has now expanded a little bit to um, include other forms of sort of schistosome prevention, really. Um, the, the prevailing approach right now in the world is sort of a treatment-based approach. So there is a single drug that works really well against schistosome infections, but it provides no lasting protection to the disease. So what our interest is really to complement that drug treatment approach by um, filling in the gaps with preventative um, snail-based approach to try to reduce the number of transmission events that occur. When you think about it in terms of Canada, um, swimmer's itch is really the form of the parasite that we have here. And so we also have some projects ongoing um, where we're studying uh, the range of different swimmer's itch causing parasites here in Alberta. We're starting up a study this summer where we're going to be sampling from 20 different lakes in Alberta um, to try to get an idea of what species are there, um, of both snails and, and parasites. And then that way we can sort of put together a bit of a map of Alberta in terms of when transmission will be a risk at each of these different places, which are sort of the high. Having the students and seeing them learning stuff and knowing that some small group of people in the world are interested in snail immunology to schistosomes and that they've managed to commit five years of their life to that part of a project is pretty cool.